Today is National STEAM Day. That stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And who better to share the importance of STEAM education than ballet dancer, rocket scientist, and CEO of the STEAM Collaborative, Jasmine Sadler. Jasmine, welcome to the fore. And you embody every acronym that STEAM stands for. It is wonderful. Yes, that's right. I grew up being technically trained in ballet. Um, my whole life basically, but then went to school for aerospace engineering, then did a master's in business and now a doctorate in education, really all to get more kids, more girls, more people of color really into STEAM. And it's really neat that there is a national STEAM day. What do you hope families maybe who are watching can sit down and talk to their kids about tonight at the dinner table? Yeah, I think the best thing are things that are around the house that we use every day and all of those inventions that are around so even when you're cooking dinner when you're heating up your pizza you know that the microwave how, how, what's the real technology behind the microwave and that's the tea in steam and so even just like considering when we're watching the news when we're watching the four um that that's technology that's engineering um even just math concepts that you don't traditionally think of but you know measuring cups and actually sitting down with the measuring cup and explaining the different measurements. So it's all around us every day. So those are some ways that we can incorporate it. Today. And ha it has so much to do with our everyday life. I do want to share with our, our viewers some video from a story that we did on you a few months ago, which was really cool. Uh, you actually had a life size statue made up of you honoring women who are pioneers in steam. Talk about what that was like. We're showing video right now. Oh, yes, it's amazing. It's the If Then Ambassador Program, and so it's by Lada Hill Philanthropies, really just highlighting that women in science are doing great things today. It's not all about historical people. Like, some of us are still the first ones graduating in our majors from our universities. Some of us are the first ones, like me, that are creating a STEAM university. So we're still making history every day. And so to be able to highlight these 125 women in science has been amazing. And how did you go from ballet to aerospace engineering? How do you kind of traverse that and find your passion for your career? Yeah, I think the main thing was I had encouraging parents who encouraged me to be independent, think for myself, be creative. My dad used to always take me to the hardware store with him all the time. So uh, just being able to write down a design for a tree house in the backyard, helping to put together stilts and build those, but then also dance and compete and be technically trained, have exams in ballet. So just really encouraging me to be myself, um, exposing me to a lot of different things and having me decide what I wanted to do eventually. Well, you are definitely an inspiration, Jasmine, and I know that tomorrow you're shooting an interview for the CBS show Mission Unstoppable, so that's exciting. We're going to definitely keep an eye out for that, but congratulations to all your successes, but most of all for sharing your story so that people in this next generation can also have great aspirations and do good for this world. Thank you so much, Jasmine Sadler, for joining Thank us. You. Take care.